Hi guys, so today I'm coming to you with something a little different. It's not a gaming expansion, unboxing, or review. This is the Darth Vader Black Series helmet. I just picked it up, and we're going to take a look at it. Let's, let's dive right in. So the packaging for this thing is uh, kind of standard in the style of Black Series. Just taking a look all around the box. This is going to uh, have multiple different parts to it. You've got a lot of detailing on the inside. This is also electronic. It takes two AA batteries, which uh, iconic sound effects rather. So that's going to be fun. Uh, two, uh, I'm sorry, two AAA batteries. As of right there, two AAA batteries that are not included. So there we go. Let's go ahead and open this thing up. This is sealed with just regular Scotch tape, which I normally would cut, but I'm using my fingers today. All right, got that open. We've got our little um, kind of paperwork insert right here. This looks like this is part of the stand. And we've got some packaging here. We're gonna pull this out. We've got multiple pieces. We've got the, uh, the top part. And there we are. Set that down right there. And then, oh my goodness, oh, it doesn't want to come out. Come on, come on. There we go. I got it. Wow. -y. Look at this. Look at all that detail. Look at that. Now it is attached here, so let me grab something to cut this. All right, so I've cut that off, and now we have just this front piece here. And that is, um, wow, I don't know if we can see in there all the way. There we go. Look at all of that. There's so much detailing inside the mask. You've got the neck part as well. And I believe, I believe that even this top part comes off. If you look on the, on the box, maybe it doesn't, maybe this doesn't, can, you've got, well you've got buttons right there. You've got a button. This is definitely a button. I don't know what it does. Maybe this is for sound effects? We should probably refer to the documentation, but boy, this is beautiful. Let's see how it looks with this part on. It looks like there's m magnets on here. Yeah, yeah. It's magnetic. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this. This is beautiful. It's so big, too. I've got to try and find some batteries. We can put them in here, figure out where everything goes, and figure out how the stand goes. I'm gonna try to set up the stand first. Okay, so this is the stand, and it, like according to this, it says display as shown. To because because the problem is if you look at it from an angle, like it, the helmet goes down on there, no problem, right? It goes down on a table. But once you put this, this comes down so much farther in the back that. If you set it on a table, it's gonna look, it's gonna look like that. And it's gonna look like Angry Vader, which is kind of cool in a way, but you want it to look normal, right? And so this comes down farther in the back. So it seems like they want uh, this, like in, to go in some way to hold it up like that. Maybe, maybe that's exactly it. Maybe there, like that. So it's on an angle, and then there it goes. Now it stands up perfectly. So that it just kind of rests on that. It doesn't actually attach to it. And there you go, because there's a little bit of rubberized backing on the back. So now, whoo, that's something else. That is beautiful. Now let's try, let's try out the electronics. All right, so I figured out a couple of little things. Right here, these are actually snaps, and these snap off, and these do this on both sides. And when that happens, you have a little screw here. This is where your batteries are gonna go in. It takes two AAAs, that's no problem, and it easily disconnects, and I've already put the batteries in. But this is also magnetic, which is really cool. So you push the button here. See, and this is... <laughs> What's really cool is that the sound effect actually is different depending on which parts are attached. So, um, if you have the whole helmet on, it does that. And now it does the, the, the full voice. Uh, 
you know. So let's try it on. What do you think? Should we try it on? Yeah, we're gonna try it on. All right, so first thing, I need to take my glasses off because glasses aren't gonna fit in here really good. Uh, which will make it a little hard to do long distance, you know, reading. Long distance reading? What is that? All right, so here we'll be like, we've got that. We've got our little strap behind. Now this part can be a little tricky because it's got some pegs in here and it's probably better to have somebody help you with it. Almost. We're not in there yet. There it goes. We got it. And now, the final touch. Alright. So, I don't think it's doing anything to my voice. I am altering the deal. Pray I don't alter it any further. I don't even know how I sound. It just keeps going. So what? now that it's on, I'm getting a little bit of fog up in the eye goggles, which is actually, it's not too bad. It's redirecting most of the air down, but some of it is going to come up. Um, when I was in the army, I used to have to wear a gas mask from time to time, every once in a while. Even in those, sometimes it, they would fog up a little bit. This is actually not that bad. I can see pretty well, and I actually have pretty good vision. Uh, so if I had to, you know, if I had to find it, even though I wouldn't be using a blue lightsaber as Vader, um, I could probably defend myself pretty well. Uh, the only problem is that this can get knocked off pretty easy. I need to get a red one of these now, probably. But, uh, but yeah, so it looks pretty good. We're going to take, take this mask off. So that I may look on you with my own eyes. You were right. Tell your sister you were right. Whew! It's a little warm in there, so I don't know if I can stay in there for too long. And it also works great with my Darth Vader Snuggie, which is just a little bit uh, warm as well. But we'll go ahead and do the full package real quick. So, Snuggies are inherently warm, and this is hot, and this is hot, and I'm in Florida in the spring, and it's hot, like I'm like super hot. Woo, let's get out of this. I have a newfound respect for the 501st, because that's hot. And I'm also in the garage, so it's kind of even hotter right now. There is, oh by the way guys, there's a round of the giveaway going on right now, so if you'd like to win a gaming expansion of your choice in the form of a $20 Cool Stuff gift card, all you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my other videos. It's as simple as that. Um, overall, I think this thing is pretty cool. Uh, the only thing it doesn't do that would have been nice is have a voice changer built in, so it doesn't really um, it doesn't do anything to my voice, <laughs> you know. So it doesn't have that. That would have been a nice touch. But the sound effects are pretty cool. It's uh, it's MSRP at 99 bucks, so it basically is $100 uh, plus tax. Uh, it's not bad. I mean, it looks really, really good. Uh, so somebody I know uh, actually was saying that uh, this was better than the deluxe costumes version of the mask. And I think considering that it comes uh, apart in so many pieces, and it's actually fairly comfortable to wear, uh, I think it's a pretty good value. There's a ton of detail in here. This thing is really, really nice. So I like it a lot. Um, and I like that it comes with a stand so it can make a really nice kind of background piece. Maybe you'll see it on one of my shelves here in the background at some point. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to enter the contest by leaving a comment and make sure you're a subscriber. And go ahead and click uh, that little bell for alerts so you can be alerted when I have new videos. I will usually announce winners towards the end of a video. Uh, but thank you guys so much for all the support and have a great day.